Hi everybody. Today I'm going to talk about the design of the shafts. So first thing, why do we need shafts? Shafts are needed to provide a ventilation or access to the underground tunnels and also to provide a launch chamber for TBMs or a reception chamber to take out the TBM out of the ground after the tunneling works or probably you will need a ventilation for underground mining or similar or to extract the material so there are a number of usage so what is the shaft structure it is if you say the similar to the tunnel uh, but has a opening on only one side at the ground or probably there could be openings on the sides as well uh, if you got a, a tunnel running through it uh, so coming to the design what we need uh, I'm, I'm gonna talk about the fe model of the shaft uh, i will show you how to do the empirical verification of your um, uh, your fe model uh, what impact uh, excavation has on on k0 and at the last i will compare the hope stress uh, calculated uh, by the fe model and uh, uh, with, the, with the empirical model so the problem i'm looking gonna look at is is a 50 meter deep shaft as, as, as shown here the diameter of the shaft is 10 meter. I'm going to model only half of that, so I'm going to model it in axisymmetry. Uh, the the shaft wall thickness is 1.2 meter. Uh, I've taken the long-term um, uh, concrete modulus of 12 GPA. Uh, you can check it for the short term as well if you wanted to. And uh, I've got a different excavation stages which uh, I will model it uh, between 5, 10, 15 and up to the 50 meters. And we've got an embedment length of 10 meters. Uh, looking at the model, uh, the model is uh, 80 meter deep and 50 meter wide. Uh, the shaft is five, uh, 50 meters as I said. Uh, I'm going to uh, model this in, in, in Plexus 2D and also in, in RS2. Uh, just a background on, on uh, soil properties. Uh, the unit weight, uh, the young model less and all the other properties are given on the screen. I'm not going to repeat them. So what is the shaft then? Okay, it's a vertical excavation in the ground where you install the wall normally if, if you're doing a, a D wall or, or a, a contiguous in a pile or, or you can do it underpinning as well where you build the segments. So what you do is you build the wall and then you excavate this section here shown on the white. Uh, whilst you're doing that, the, you know the, the, you're removing the passive resistance from the from uh, from inside the shaft. So when you remove the passive resistance, the, these stresses uh, act on the shaft wall, and uh, these stresses are called uh, hope stresses. I will, I will look into that. So there are two types of stresses which will be acting on the shaft lining. One is the axial, which will be vertical around along the the the, the, the shaft uh, wall, and the radial one, which is goes around the circular uh, in, in a circumferential uh, stresses. So, looking at the circumferential stress, which is also called hoop stress. So, if you're looking in plan. This is your shaft OD, ID, with the thickness T, which we are considering as um, uh, 1.2 meters. Uh, radius we are taking at 5 meters, so the internal diameter of uh, 10 meters. So empirically, you calculate the hope stress by this formula, where um, sigma H times T uh, divided by 2 times T, T where T is the thickness. Uh, Sigma hope is the hope stress, sigma h is the horizontal stress acting on the lining. 
So looking at my problem, what we got here, so we got a unit weight of 21 kilonewton per meter cube. I've taken the K0 value of 1 with a shaft thickness of 1.2 and a diameter of 10 meter, as I said. So I've calculated the here, the vertical effective stress with the depth. Uh, and then uh, I've multiplied by the K0 value, so which is the because we are using K0 of 1, so vertical and horizontal, vertical and horizontal stresses are same. And from there on, I've calculated the, the hope stress at a different depth. So this is at 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45 uh, meters below ground level. Uh, I should have put here the, the depths as well. And then I've uh, compared it with the uh, Plexus model and an RS2 and see that what, what happened there. So what I will do is I'll fire up my RS2 model and show you what we got here. So just bear with me. <clears throat> 